Hello and good morning, everyone. How are we feeling today? Good. Awesome. Maddie, with your cup of coffee, that is awesome. Very important. You need that for the start of the day. Coolio. Okay, guys. Well, we are dead on the minute. Um, if there is anything I currently need to know about your bodies, please um, either let me know verbally or in the chat. That's an, yeah, entirely up to you. Um, you can also private message me as well if you want discretion as well. Um, what we are doing today is something that our lovely Sarah inspired by, and I had loads of fun creating it yesterday um, with my boys. So it's a, it's, it's a class for the low attention span. <laughs> yep. And, you know, fairly simple, but dynamic as well. And we played around with a lot of things with my boys who, um, don't have a very high attention span and are extremely cheeky. And they had loads of fun doing this today. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, and it's a jump board special. That's what we came up with. So uh, you will need your jump board on. Ensure that it is locked and secured. Tracy, do you have a jump board? Hi, Venus. No, I don't. That doesn't matter. Just You'll just need to probably go at a, um, just be very mindful on your foot bar. You can still do it off the foot bar, but it's not as fun. <laughs> Okay, coolio. Um, and also with the four point kneeling stuff, you may have to modify it to keep your foot connected to it. That's all. Coolio. All right, so you're going to need one heavy, one light spring, whatever that looks like for you. Obviously, I encourage you guys to ensure that, your, um, that you adjust the spring settings to suit you. Okay, as everyone has different spring settings in their home. So one heavy, one light spring to me looks like a one and a quarter spring. Okay, so whatever that looks like for you at home. The other thing is the jump boards can be really noisy. Okay, so make sure you're definitely on mute because there'll be a lot of noise from my reformer. And I've also just taken my straps off and just chucked it at the back of the reformer so there's no clanging on the rails because we won't need the straps today anyway. Cool? The other thing that you might notice is your reformer might move if it's not on a grip mat, okay? If it does move, just jump at a slightly just softer pace, okay? So what you see I've done here is I've actually placed bigger grip mats underneath my reformer, underneath the, the legs there, $2 from the Daiso store or the reject shop or what, um, wherever that looks like for you in the world. Um, and yeah, that just stops the reformer from moving around because I had a traveling reformer yesterday when I was playing around with the kids. So just if it does move, don't worry, you're not going to hurt yourself. That's totally fine. All right, you just might need to readjust it when you come off later. Are we ready to go? Awesome. Okay, so lying on your reformer, you may choose to put the headrest up for comfort. That's your choice. I like to grab the front edge of the carriage with my hands just for that little bit of extra support so you can move your bottom down. The other thing is if you feel a little squashed up, you can adjust the carriage stopper to suit you. So my carriage stopper has been pushed out, um, has been placed two stoppers out towards the back of the reformer, just so I've got a little bit more room for my legs. So again, that's your choice if you're feeling uncomfortable here. I want you to park your feet firmly onto kind of the top edge of the um, jump board. Yeah, and just make sure you can really drive your heels on. So Tracy, what that looks like for you is your arches. 
That's it. Cool. So from here, we're just going to do gentle leg presses. The carriage will feel quite light. So I really want you to feel like you're driving the heels into the jump board, feeling a strong connection with that jump board and creating a nice smooth ride with the carriage. Nice and smooth. We're continuing this for 10. Seven to go. And six, five, four, three, two. On this last one, open the spring, straighten your legs, and we're going to do calf raises. So you're going to come up onto your tippy toes and then plant the heels back into the jump board. Up and down, up and down. Awesome. I want you to feel how the foot rolls off that board. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Now close the springs here. Now we're going to gently push the jump board away into a little jump and land very softly into the jump board. So it's a gentle push away. Well done. As you can hear, the jump board for me can be quite loud. That can change depending on what you look like in space at your house. Hey Maddie, can you kind of straighten your legs a little bit more? There we go, beautiful, yeah. And the idea is we're working light as a feather. So we're trying to land as light as we can on the jump board. Good job, guys. Here we go for another 10, nine. That looks great, Tracy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one and close the springs for me well done bring one knee up to your chest make sure your shin is in line with the ceiling okay so we're just going to do a single leg press here nice and gently feel how your heel is connected with the board opening and close the springs at a pace that suits you Try and make sure you're feeling a nice smooth ride on the carriage. We're going for another five, four, three, two, one. Straighten that leg. Now we're going into calf raises on the single leg. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Good job. When you raise that heel, imagine that the ball of your foot is a knife stabbing through that jump board. Let's go for another three, two, one. Well done. Close the springs here. Now we're going into our jumping sequence. So we push away and land lightly. Push away, land lightly. Good job, just one leg only. That's it. Awesome. Going for another seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Park the carriage. Let's change the legs over. We're going to repeat that sequence on the other side. So gentle leg presses, drive the heel through. Make sure the shin is in line with the ceiling. Well done. Feel that strong connection through the heel of the foot. We're going for another five, four, looking lovely there guys. Two, one, straighten that leg, straight into your leg presses. Amazing. Stab the ball of your foot into the jump board here. Keeping the knee super long and strong. 
five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Close the springs. Let's start our gentle jumping. Can we try and make the landing as light as a feather? For five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Park that carriage. Okay, so we're going to start slow here as we prance on the jump board. So we're just going to gently jump the board away, swap legs, jump, swap, jump, swap, jump, swap. like you're walking on the moon. That's it, Barry. That's it. Got it, girl. Yay, we're just trotting through the park here. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly park the carriage. Let's bring our feet a little bit wider into sumo squats. Good. So our, our knees are just facing out at the 45 degree angle. From here, driving our heels and keeping it strongly connected with the jump board, we open the springs, close the springs. So back to our standard leg presses. I don't know about you, but I'm losing breath. Are we feeling a little warmed up here, guys? Nice. Well done. Give me another five, four, three, two, one. Open the springs. Let's go into our calf raises. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Amazing. Looking good here, guys. Five. Let's go a little bit wider for me, Bee Berry. Four. There you go. Turn the toes out to the corners of that trampoline. There we go. Two. And one. Bend your knees here. Close the springs. Let's start our jumping sequence. And away and land. Nice and gently. Good. Amazing guys. Let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Let's land softly, close the springs. Now we're going to do a jumping jack sequence. So as we jump away, we bring our feet together, then jump away, bring our legs wide. Okay, are we ready? And let's go out. To in, out, in. Good job. Woohoo! Let the reformer take you for that ride. Another 10 to go. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Let's extend those legs a little longer for me, Maddie. Yes. Three. Two. And one. And close the springs. Amazing work, guys. Now we're going to jazz it up just that little bit more. Our feet are going to be hip distance apart. We're going to jump out. Crisscross our legs over and land slightly. Good. So it's a crisscross with our feet. Cool. And out, crisscross. Out, crisscross. Out, crisscross. So you might want to choose one crisscross or a double crisscross. The choice is yours. Be very, yes, take that jumper off, girl. Here we go. Ten. Nine, eight, really extend those legs. Seven, 
six, love it Natasha, five, four, go Ashley, three, two, go Andrea, and one, and park the carriage. Woohoo! That looked amazing, guys. All right. So from here, we're going to bring the arches of our feet to the top of the jump board. The challenge right now is to keep the carriage still. So we're just going to hip roll up. So peel your t-shirt off the carriage, bringing your waistband to the sky and hip roll down. P rolling your t-shirt back down onto the carriage. Up and down. Can you keep that carriage still? Up, nice Sarah. And down. Two more. And down, good job. Let's go into a semicircle like the caterpillar crawling across the ceiling. So we're gonna lift our waistband up to the sky Straighten our legs, waistband onto the carriage, close the springs, rolling up, open the springs, roll down, close the springs, hello hamstrings, right, down, good, let's go for another two, looking nice there Sarah, three, Last one, now reverse the motion. So keep our legs straight out here, waistband to the sky, close the springs, waistband to the carriage, open the springs, waistband to the sky, close, waistband to the carriage, open, good. Three, hate me later, I'm loving you, not hurting you. Up. Last one. And park the carriage. Straighten one leg to the sky. Grab hold of your ankle, whatever that looks like to you, whether it's your thigh, ankle, knee, and just stretch out one leg. Let's hold it here for five, four, three, two, one. Place that foot back on the jump board and to the other side. Stretch it out. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Now you can stay with the double legs or let's challenge it up to the single leg. So point one leg to the sky. We're going to draw, roll the waistband up, try and stab the ceiling with your toe, open the springs, down, close the springs, up, open, down, close. Two more. Then reverse the motion. Woohoohoo! Last one. Down. Now open the springs. We're reversing up. Close the springs. Down. Good. So we haven't changed legs. We're just reversing the motion. And down. Two more to go. Down. Last one. Down, good job. Now let's swap the legs over. Toes point right through the ceiling and waistband to the sky, open the springs, waistband to the carriage, close the springs. Up, open, down, close. Up, open, down, close. Last one, up, open, down, Close, reverse the motion. Open the springs up, close, down. Open, up, close, down. Open, up, woohoo! Close, down, open, up, close, and down. Amazing work, guys. Bring your feet together on the jump board. Okay, so from here, I just want you to curl your chin to your chest, stretch those arms forward. So we're going into a hundreds position as we jump. 
So starting with our jump sequence, we're gonna push away, hundreds, return. Away, hundreds, return. Hold that. Let's go for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close the springs, float your head down. Now we're going to challenge this up, sitting up, Dropping it down to half a spring only, half a spring. So this is going to be a much lighter load for you guys. Now that we know what the hundreds jumping sequence looks like, let's do that again. Okay, so making sure you're, you're grabbing hold of the edge of, front edge of the platform, so your old carriage, sorry, scooting your bum down. So you've got a little bit of um, rest or, or what's the word, space, in between the shoulder rest and your shoulders. Curling up into your hundreds position. Hold that position. Can you melt your back into the carriage? From here, away, return. So just gentle jumping here, nice and soft, and we're after the really nice smooth ride. Continue that. If your neck is hurting, feel free to bring your hands behind your head. It's your choice. Five. Woohoo! Four. This is a bit different, isn't it? Three. Two. One. Park the carriage. From here, grab one knee into your chest. Extend that leg away. We're going into a single leg stretch. So curling up, holding that position, slightly bend the knee, jump away, switch legs. Jump away, switch legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Keep that leg long, knee to the chest, hands behind your head. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. We're moving into crisscross here, guys. Okay, so gentle push away, switch, away, switch, away, switch, away, Switch, continue, five, four, Natasha, I love your smile, three, two, and one, good job. From here, close the carriage. Feet together, I just want you to bring your knees over one side of the body, straighten the legs like the can-can, Close. Now switch your knees over to the other side of your body, straightening your legs. Close. So it's like the can-can or like we're skiing down a mountain slope. This is called moguls, yeah? Let's just do this for another five, four, switching those knees from side to side, three, two, and one, now that we've got that, let's go straight into the jumping sequence. So away, switch, land, away, switch, land, away, switch, land, away, switch, land. Five, woohoo, four, aim for that smooth ride. Three, two, one and park the carriage. Amazing guys, good job. Hopping off the carriage here. From here, grabbing hold of your box and putting it in the short box sequence. 
The spring setting doesn't change here. So you're kneeling on the carriage now. And the idea is that you're four point kneeling over the box. So your hands can go just over the edge of the box. So you've got the box's feedback because a lot of things, a lot of times with teenagers, they tend to fold in the hip creases. All right. So this just helps them stay long and strong through the jumping sequence. All right. So we're just parking one leg into the jump board and the other leg is just hovering on that platform. So when I, uh, when I mean hovering, the knee is resting on the platform and the foot isn't connected to the jump board. From here, we're just doing a single leg press. So away, return. I want you to focus on keeping your upper body long and strong. Imagine there's a glass balancing on your back and you're not allowed to spill it. Keep the thigh connected to the box. So switch that leg over for me, Tasha. So one, one foot should be on the foot bar. That's it. There we go, push away the foot bar. There we go. Good, that feels better, doesn't it? Awesome. Now we've got that happening, let's add the little press away, return. Press away, return. So we're on the light spring so that we can really feel the control over the carriage here. So if you push too hard, you're going to come up short at the end of the reformer. Good. On my count, we're gonna add a little lift into the leg. We're going five, four, Three, two, one, lift, return. Well done, get that rhythm happening. Well done guys. On my count, we're going to add a mountain climber. So that knee is going to come around into your armpit for five, four, Three, two, one, armpit to knee, armpit to knee. That's it, you gotta lift it up and wide to escape that box, I love it. Five, four, amazing Tracy, three, two, one, connect with the jump board, return. From here, let's just round up into some um, cat stretches. So we're going to round up into your rainbow, belly button to the box, eyes to the skies. Two more. Last one. Setting up with the other leg. Okay, just leg presses here. Now, if your wrists become too wristy, wristy, feel free to come onto your elbows. That's your choice. I just feel more secure with my hands down here. So leg press away, return. Away, return. Good job. Five. Four, woohoo! Three, looking great, Ashley. Two, trust your body, you got this. One, add the little jumps now. Jump away, return. Away, return. That is beautiful. On my count, we're adding the lift in five, four, three, two, and one, and lift it up. On my count, we're adding the mountain climber in five, Four. 
You guys are looking great. I love the rhythm. Two, one, add your mountain climber. Making sure we're continuing a nice smooth carriage. In three, two, one. And close the springs. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Rest your body. Just, you're still in your four point kneeling, but just rest your tummy onto the box. From here, your hands are gonna shoot to Superman, lift high. Then elbows are going to come into the t-shirt, away and down. Shoot to Superman, lift high, elbows to t-shirt, down. Superman, high, elbows to t-shirt, back to Superman and down. Right, so let's do a static leg extension Choose one leg, you're going to extend out to Superman, lift high, elbow to T-shirt, back to Superman, return the carriage, out, return, out, return, out, return. Now when you're ready, let's add the little jump. And Superman, return. Superman, return. Find your rhythm. Continue, five. Woohoo! take flight. Three, two, Brie, oh, Taryn, can you reach further? <laughs> and one, good job. Now, let's switch to the other leg. Ready? Superman, return. Superman, return. Amazing, five. Oh, Maddie, you look like you're flying over tall buildings. Three, two, and one, return the carriage. That was awesome, guys. From here, we're back to our four point kneeling. You can place your elbows on the box if you wish. Round up into your cat stretch. Strong rainbow shape here. Now belly onto the box, heart up to the sky. Two more. And last one. That was awesome. Okay, we're not done yet. We're hopping off our carriage. We're looking down into our well and changing it to one spring. One spring. Now, we're bringing the box to a long box position. Well done. So, we're sliding on top of the box, making sure there's enough room for our head. Placing our hands to the top of the jump board. From here, we're straightening our arms and come up into a cobra stretch. Good, now push back to your Superman. Cobra stretch, Superman. Cobra stretch. Superman. Continue that. All right, so from here, push out to the long line. Come up into your cobra stretch. Can you try and hover your thighs off the box? Let's go into swimming. Let's swim those legs. Swim, swim. It's like we're kicking on the kickboard. So straighten those arms for me, Maddie. That's it. You didn't learn to swim with bent arms. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, or one. Come back down to the long line. Bend those arms, straighten the arms. Bend, straighten. So we're just doing vertical push-ups. 
for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Good job. Keep going. Four, three, two. Strong energy into those legs. One. Close the springs. From here, one hand is going to just come down and rest on the carriage. We're going to do a single arm push up away. Copper stretch up, down, return the carriage. Away, up, down, return. Away, up, down, return. Really push through your palm for three. Two and one. Amazing, guys. Coloso springs move over to the other side. Good. From here, push away, up, down, return. Away, up, down, return. Away, up down return continue remember those legs aren't on holidays everything is long strong and active let's go for three two my son was like why can't my legs not be on holidays and one return the carriage okay so we're looking down into the well we're changing to half a spring. Making sure you're properly on that box. Grab hold of like, so one hand is on the side of the jump board. The other hand is on the top corner of the jump board. Good. So you're going to push away like that. Cool. And then return. Push away like that. Return, now add the little hover, away, return. Superman is flying sideways, away, return, away, return. Upper body is long and strong. Woohoo! Let's go, three, two. Your other arm doesn't have to be in holidays, Andrea. One. Good, so one arm can be on this part of the foot bar, Andrea. Yes. Yeah. Now switch to the other side. Okay. Just feel the rhythm of the carriage first. And when you're ready, take flight. Woohoo! Everything is on and active. Three. Two. And one, return. So now we're going to alternate. It's almost over. Not yet then, Natasha. We're still feeling that burn. Okay, so we're gonna open our springs. We're going to pop away and twist. Away and twist. So Superman is flying through the clouds. Away and twist. Let me see you soar. Is your body long and active? Oh, Maddie, you're looking like an Olympian. Amazing, Julia. That is so great. Well done, Taryn. In three, two, and one. And come back to, back down to planet Earth. Sitting on your box. Let's do something nice for you. From here, just look down first. Add a spring on. So one heavy spring. Feet are on your um, jump board. Hands are on the top of your jump board. You're just going to straighten your legs just to stretch out your lower back a little bit more. And open. Good job, three more like this. 
This is your calm before the next storm. Two, can you get deeper into your stretch? Is that nice and juicy for you, Natasha? And one, just enough burn, huh? And close. All right, from here, you can remove your box. So we're back to one spring here. We're just gonna come into a lunge. So hands are just on the top of the jump board there. And we're going to lunge it down. Good, back knee is on the carriage. Good, now we're gonna straighten that leg and we're gonna shine our chest up as we come close to the carriage. Now bend down into your lunge. Straighten that leg, circle it up. So it's like we're kind of riding a stationary bike. Good, bend, straighten, grow tall to return the carriage. Bend, straighten, grow tall. Amazing. Going for another three. And two. And one. Now we're gonna reverse the motion. So we're going to bend through the front look, the front leg, straight and tall at the jump board. Push the carriage away with a straight leg. Bend forward, grow tall. So we're body sliding up the board, straighten the leg to push the carriage away. Forward, body slide up the board, push it away. Woohoohoo! Dancers in the room are going to love this. Roll up the board, push it away. Good. Forward, roll up the board, push it away. Great, Sarah. Two more. You got it, Bee Berry. Last one. Good job. Okay, from here, moving to the other side. So we're gonna start in our low lunge here. Straighten through the front leg to open the springs. Grow tall through the straight leg to close the springs. Lunge down, straighten the leg, grow tall, return the carriage. Down, straighten the legs, grow tall, return the carriage. Continue that. Three more. Two more. Last one. Right, now let's reverse the motion. So we're starting with a straight leg. We're pushing the carriage away. Bending our knee, body slide up the jump board to the straight leg. Away, bend the knee, body slide up the jump board, straight leg. Woohoo! That's it. Give me another three, two, one. Good job. Now we're sitting on your platform or carriage, I should say. Feel free to add half a spring just for a bit more tension and sit comfortable wherever you want to sit on the carriage, hands behind you. Put your feet on the jump board, push the jump board away, cross one ankle over your knee. Now close the springs. Hold it there, are we happy? If you want a deeper stretch, just sit closer to the front of the carriage. Let's hold it here. Now open the springs. Now close it again. Let's hold, can we get deeper into the stretch? Can you shine your chest in towards the calf that bit more? All 
open and close my 11 year old was like oh my god how do you stop the springs from closing because it because <laughs> it forces you to have that stretch and open let's switch to the other side Ooh, I'm tight on this side guys I don't know about you how are we feeling it open and close open and close open and close good job from here we're just going to sit tall grab hold of the jump board come as close to the front of the jump board as you can with cross legs all right from here you're going to hold maybe the midsection of the jump board halfway down wherever is comfortable for, for you you're just going to push the carriage away and stretch those um your chest into the calves here roll it up one more time push it away stretch it down roll it up this time hands are going to go to the top, uh, top of the jump board you're going to shine that chest down and stretch into your armpits kind of like you're doing a child's pose and up one more time down and up good job grab hold of the underside of the front of the carriage you're going to round your back off into a ball chin right to your chest and let's just wiggle side to side just to get a nice gentle stretch throughout the back and grow tall good job one hand is just going to reach behind the shoulder blades the other hand is going to come over the top of your head to grab your elbow and drive that elbow down your back. You may lean towards that side a little bit more if you want a deeper stretch here, because Ashley, I know you like those really deep stretches. And grow tall, switching sides. grow tall sit wherever you are facing me stretch those arms out into a beautiful T kiss those shoulder blades together give me a big virtual cuddle to say thank you for joining me Mina oh Julia that feels like a beautiful cuddle thank you thank you Tracy and this is my big virtual cuddle to you guys to say thank you for joining me for the day happy to let's have a conversation how did we go hi how are you good how are you good good yeah that was it was um good that was my first time on this reformer I only set it up yesterday so this wow. was my first I played with it a little bit yesterday, but this was the first time I actually did a lesson. So I was a little bit um, just getting used to it. Um, and I think my box, I've got an Aero Pilates reformer. Mm -hmm. The way you were sitting on your box, like your your thighs and your, you could fit on your box nicely in a mm -hmm. leaning over it. I, f I feel like maybe mine is a bit shorter. I found that no. really hard to do. So, so, um, sorry, uh, you've got your name there as B Berry. What's your yes, actual I'm name? I'm sorry, my name is Bulbul, and I have to figure out how to change this. That's okay. So how do I spell your name? I'm, I'm changing it right now, but I don't know how to change it permanently. I've got to get in and change it every time. Bulbul, oh, Bulbul, be well. Be well. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, um, Bulbul. So, I think you missed the start of the class. So, in the start of the class, I said adjust the carriage stopper. Uh huh to suit your body type so that you can fit into the um on the reformer up against your uh your jump board so the carriage stopper 
For my reformer looks like that. It might be a little bit different. So Tara and yours is the screws the on, on the edge there for the breathe reformers. So it, yeah, and then you've got holes on the side of your rails and you can adjust it to suit you. I'm pretty sure with the Aero Pilates, they would have something. I see, I see. Okay, I'll yeah. get down. So at, right at the start of the class, I said I had my carriage stopper like to um on the second position so i had a little bit more room for the actual um box and my body and the jump board get you okay thank you I'll my pleasure you're welcome sarah how did you like that yeah yeah really really fun thanks so i think yeah. the kids are going to love it well, I tried quite a few different things um, and, you know, with the boys and they were like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, don't know if you can tell. So once we saw the jump box, my, you know, this is my 11-year-old going, oh, my God, this is so much fun with the jump board. So that's kind of why we decided I went with the jump board Um class and it's it's something we don't do very often either so just no, it's, it's really good my, my boys would do leg and straps for hours but it doesn't it's at one move <laughs> so it's yeah yeah that, so that was fun yeah that's awesome so and and analogies and cues like superman and like you're flying through the clouds and that kind of stuff that really got them so even the 15 year old so i was really happy to to you know um you you created a family fun event yesterday with that suggestion so i appreciate it yeah does anybody else have any other questions regarding the jump board taryn so i just found myself um not so much at the start of the movement when we were doing footwork but kind of throughout the rest of the moves uh, it was more kind of the um, the ball of my feet that was looking to find my landing and my stable positioning. I mean, I don't necessarily have to connect the like the heel and my ball. It's more so what I feel comfortable with. Yeah, that's a hundred percent, and your body will naturally go that way. I always start with the heels so that people feel that strong connection with the jump board first so that they know what it feels like to normalize the experience because it can be a little bit more foreign for them. Does that make sense? And then when they get used to it, then they're gonna land on the balls of their feet or do whatever. But it's more so that, because what can happen is, you know, if they don't have that connection with the jump board, they can either jump really hard and land really strongly. And that's not what the jump board's about. The jump board is designed for light landing. Okay, it sounds loud, but it's designed for light landing. So really heavy springs aren't designed to work with the jump board, like maximum two springs only. Yeah, I, I've known, I've known um, places that go heavier, but then they end up ruining their equipment quite quickly. Yeah, because it's only designed for light impact. Interesting. I would have thought that you could go quite heavy springs with it, kind of like footwork, you know, but it's more of the control of the landing that's actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right. it's very much about the control of the landing. You've got to think about it. Like this particular reformer is great because it's got the back supporting it, even if it is a bit loud, but there's like, if you think about the way the jump board is manufactured, really, it's like this amount of space is actually secured into the actual reformer, right? So that's a huge impact coming back. So with the Pilates health equipment, you can put the foot bar up to support it a little bit more um, to, so that you've got longevity in your equipment. However, there's a lot of um, reformers out there, like the one you're using, which is also Pilates Health Equipment, but, um, you know, that don't have that backing or that surface and they just slide in and out. Sure, it's quieter, but it doesn't have as much support. Like, so if you come down really hard, there's only, if, if well, how do I explain it? So, 
yeah it's that that lever so if you jump on a twig the corner of a twig it's going to break at full force right it's the same thing with jump boards and it doesn't matter how light you are and it's also the same thing with trampolines as well and it doesn't matter how light you are or heavy you are if you if you're coming at that angle in a full force then your equipment is bound to wear down pretty quickly yeah thank you pleasure pleasure so if you want to look after your equipment you know controlled balanced movements guys yeah just on that um i mean it's just a question so angela hi sorry i was just watching that i'm too sore to do any sort of thing today (laughs) um so because i have done classes where sometimes we're even on three springs is that just way too hectic you reckon it depends on the reformer and I can't comment here or there because I'm not on that reformer. Um, and it also depends on the weight of the people yeah. as well. Um, so I know um, from a manufacturer's point of view, I wouldn't go more than two. Two, yeah. Um, yeah, because it's about controlling that movement as well. And, you know, uh yeah, so it's it's hard for me to make an assumption or to really have an opinion on what other people do. This is, you know, this is purely coming off from talking to um, the engineers and manufacturers um, of what can break on a reformer to, you know, or if you want your reformer to last a little bit longer. Um, and, yeah, and from what I've seen out there, fire experience so like I mean you can try three if it if it feels safe and it's comfortable for your equipment and you don't see it breaking (laughs) that's fine you know you can do normal footwork with three to four springs but no jumping on it but you know with various foot placements and that kind of stuff which is great on the jump board and you've got a wider surface to work from, which is also great. So it depends on what type of impact you're going to do on the jump board, whether you're going to do a more plyometric style class or whether um, um, a closed kinetic class on the jump board and you're just after a wider surface. Yep. Cool. Hi, Venus. Hi. Tash. Hi. <laughs> Um, I just got a question regarding with that one. So is, is that the same principle that applies for if you have a foot bar instead? Because I did um, like the crisscross and a couple of those jumping sequences uh, the other day in a class just before we went in lockdown and it was all on the foot bar. Like, the, yeah, so it would have been. Wow. Yeah. So it was, with heavy like, springs? I, I was in the class. I didn't take that class. But um, with, no, they were lighter, but they were making, like, the biggest noise. And a few of the times, like, people missed the foot bar and it made, like, yeah. I was thinking, oh, when did that sound again? I actually did think, is that a problem? Uh, yeah. Well, it's not a here or there. If it's a beginner class, yeah, it's a problem. Okay. <laughs> if you're working to, I mean, Tracy was able to do it perfectly on the foot bar. Yeah, and it depends on, you know, the person's experience on the equipment and the reformer and, you know, um, where they, whether they've got great spatial awareness. So it's about your demographic. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I was super impressed with Tracy with the four-point kneeling um, and being able to land her feet on that foot bar. I was wondering how she – but if she missed it, that didn't matter either because she had – the uh, the long box there for safety yeah you know um yeah however you know uh, that series can be done without the long box and then if you're trying to land on a a a smaller surface for accuracy you want to choose that client pretty well like you want to yeah know their background and that kind of stuff and they want to be experienced um yeah yeah because it's it's a wide base of support versus a tiny little pinpoint yeah yeah it's like throw a dart at a big massive war and wall and don't care where it lands or try and hit the bullseye yeah thanks yeah so when i if i teach that series put the jump board on rather than the football well <clears throat> it's fun with the jump board too i mean we have it we rarely use it we may as well use it <laughs> You know, and you can have a lot of fun with it if you're not 
worrying about the accuracy now after a series of classes and you you know the people and you could try and create this whole sequence on the jump board I mean sorry on the foot bar at a smaller base of support because they've, they already know the series so you just it's like a layer up or a challenge up yeah, yeah but you might want to be careful with the spring learning that you choose as well <laughs> yeah just it's it's all about using your critical thinking um what did Ooh, you've seen classes with the bosu used instead of the jump board what do you mean uh they sort of put the bosu up against the foot bar wedged between the sort of between the springs i guess it would depend on your former setup but then it gives yeah. you it's kind of more cushioned but it's also a bit more unstable so it gives with the round side facing yeah 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 uh, so, uh, I normally have my Bosu in here. I would have liked to have tried that because, you know, in all my years, I've actually never seen that. Yeah, so it, was, it just taught me something and I'd like to I'd like to actually give that a go. Yeah. Um, Karen. What is a Bosu? Should I know what that is? Uh, Sarah's going to get it for you. Ah, uh, right. Okay. But, yeah. So... <laughs> Oh, wow. Hey, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we can see you clearly. I've spotlighted you, Sarah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That's that's kind of cool. I mean, I guess it would depend on the Bosu as well, because my Bosu is a lot bigger than that, and I wonder if my Bosu would fit. Mine's cheap, um, really cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Kmart. <laughs> I love Kmart. Um, yeah. So that's that's a really good idea. Um, I've not, you know, I can't comment on that either, neither here or there, because I've never tried it. And that's my, maybe something I'd like to try. Um, yeah, and I can see how it'd be really soft and cushiony as well, just like the trampoline. Mm. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Venus. Thank you, Venus. Thank you, Venus. Thanks,